Warpix settings video part two tweaking and part one afterwards Gerald Evans put together a really good guide for getting Star Citizen and Vorpex to run together. You go into your Star Citizen folder. Uh, public is for and you need to make up a user config file and you gotta make sure it's saved not as a text document but as a config file. I think I got this from board gamers page just uh, wanted to change the system max frame per second to 50 it's capped at 30 it says right here and um, a few other changes I made I use this part here this is helps with performance a little bit and this here is what you edit to change the amount that you can see on your screen which sort of zooms the screen in and out and another thing you need to do is in the video is you need to have custom res resolutions we're here already these uh, are some ones I tried I don't have the uh, the one for the newer I'm using uh, DK2 this is its native setting right here now it has a higher refresh rate but because my I think it's high refresh rate is like 75 but because my monitor only goes up to 65 I mean 60 I can't use the higher rate and that's a problem if you get this off so you got all these set to 60 alright and you notice I can't customize sometimes this is a problem to get this to do that uh, try closing and opening a couple times okay there we go I hit cancel because I changed it to up to here like watch see when I did that it made it to where it didn't want to start to go back and you notice it says it you can't do it just hit cancel okay and now you can customize I will go ahead and open that these are the ones I made I'm not going to make any more but what you do is you click here and then you would change these settings here to what's going to work for you and make sure your refresh rate is not more than your monitor that you're using okay and I'm just going to hit cancel because I've already done that and we're going to close this for now okay and we don't want to save anything and now we're just going to uh, not worry about Warpex yet we're going to go into Star Citizen there's a couple things I've changed in the Warpex settings uh, I've seen you guys talking about flicker skipping where it's unplayable and I'm going to talk about uh, gimbal lock and two-stage trigger and a little bit about head tracking all right now as you see here it looks kind of very far away kind of tunnel vision okay and the problem here Let's move away from here so I don't have all that racket. Yeah, 
is uh, when you're wearing your Oculus everything is so small just like it is here on the monitor and you can zoom in to see things better but see when you zoom in you can't see important information off there on the side see like when you zoom in a little bit you can't see your targeting information and you can't see uh, your ship status okay but you can go ahead and zoom in and look at your keyboard and I'm just using this with the mouse right now which is basically what the oculus does now in Gerald Evans guide see normally you would be turning your ship with moving the mouse okay but uh, the oculus does that for you okay now go ahead and cover gimbal lock here and uh, gimbals are not locked so when you shoot, shoot say your shooting bottles your eyesight okay now gimbal lock which is I think modifier 2 J key yes Let's see and toggle that again and that's kind of an important function uh, I think it believe, uh, gives um, people that play with a mouse or people that play with oculus a uh, an advantage over stick players because usually stick players would use gimbal lock versus non gimbal lock okay later I'll go into two stage trigger after we're um, got it looking a little bit better okay now the problem here is in fight I use joysticks so getting and and tapping your mouse to change your views and stuff um, uh, actually the free look mode when you hit uh, the mouse wheel button and um, on my stick I have a zoom over here so that's not a problem there but the lettering is too small for fight to see what's actually going on and the other thing is uh, the re people have reported um, uh, let's see flickering and jerking and skipping and here and I'm going to try to help with that okay so this is what it looks like after you first start and get it running and what we're going to do is we're going to change a few things so it looks better okay let's go over here to options now one of the first things full screen must be put on no and the reason is is because your vorpex over here will not get, get to all kinds of problems when you do that okay let's go back over here and this here is uh, 860 by 1080 which is the uh, Oculus uh, DX2 uh, setting in Gerald's guide. Now I, I've tweaked that out to where I'm using that different so let's go ahead and do, it, do that first so we can see things a little better. What I'm going to do is I'm going to set it back to my um, monitors default. 
Okay. So now we can see things a little bit better. But notice I still leave full screen to no for now. Okay. So we're done here. So let's go ahead and tab out. Well, no, the game doesn't like it if you quit. I might have a computer crash. So let's go ahead and quit the game first. Okay. And I'm not wearing my Oculus yet because uh, there's no point until we get a little bit further down. Okay, let's close this. Okay. Now, first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to change, go back to this file you created. Also, a note, um, this data drive I got, and it, notice it's kind of small, it's an SSD drive, just so everything works a little faster. Okay, Star Citizen, Public. All right, one thing here. If you're uh, doing the PTU, this would be test. You'd have another file here, test, okay? And you'd have to set up your user config here in the test also. Let's open this. Okay, one thing I'm gonna mention um, is that Make sure you don't save your user config as a text document. It has to be a config file document. All right. Let's go back over here. Okay. Basically, the only thing I'm going to do is I'm gonna put this here. So that won't be red. Go back here and go back to the setting that I like here. What that does is this brings you in further, like zooming in. Okay. And that'll be the first change we make. Well, actually, we've already made one change, is we've uh, went back to the larger resolution. Okay. Oh, better to save it. And just save. That's fine. Close it. Close this. Okay, now time to start Vorpex. And like always, you got to make sure that the watcher's off when you start Star Citizen. Alrighty. Fire group two is button two. What I do is, okay, and down here is unbinding and you just click on it to rebind okay button one um, will be usually my gimbals so we'll just unbind it click on it and then double click to bind it and I just pull in the button trigger just a little bit okay and of course it's saying it's doing something else so just click OK and got button one little button six will erase it and rebind it and what you'll see is it'll go button one and then button six okay button one button six and now it's bound to button six the thing is is when you pull to get button six you'll have button one firing too so when I pull the trigger in like under halfway, I'll get fire weapon group one. If I pull it in all the way, I'll get fire weapon group one and two. And it's kind of nice, but there is one disadvantage is you can overheat 
your first weapon group pretty quick. So you gotta watch that pretty close. Okay, that covers that. Let's and uh, Gerald Evans' guide, I will have a link to it in the comments of the video. And let's 